tutorial I will show you a retouching technique that will allow you to create this kind of uh, dramatic look on on your image. This technique works best on images where you have a lot of uh, skin texture like you can see here and maybe this effect is a bit too extreme for this photo but uh, you can adjust the amount of effect that you want and let me just show you the original image. So we will go from this to this. As I said this is a bit uh, extreme but uh, you can adjust the amount of effect and the first thing you need to do after you open the image is create a duplicate of the background layer and you can do that if you press Control or command J or you can also right click and choose um, duplicate layer and you can name this layer what we want here is uh, later we will change the color cast of this image using a gradient map and the color balance so what you need to do now is in between these two layers add a, a hue saturation adjustment and I found that for this particular image I only had to touch the shadows you can see this gap here so just uh, drag this to about 12 and that way you increase the shadows a bit and you add more contrast you can leave this once untouched but uh, if you want a bit more contrast on the midtones you can you can play with the sliders as well so just it's up to you the higher the opacity the darker the image but uh, try not to really make it too dark so I think I'll leave it to 35 and next it's the dodging and burning part you can also use the mixer brush tool to smoothen the skin but um, for this one I think I will leave it like that uh, you can use the spot healing brush tool and just to remove all these uh, spots here on the skin but uh, I think I'll leave it like that and let's go to the dodging and burning part first select the brush tool because uh, I want to show you something usually I work with the dodge and burn tool to dodge and burn the highlights and the shadows and if I want to fix an area uh, I, set the, I select the brush tool choose the foreground color and and I'll show you the before and after so without the dodge and burn and with the dodge and burn it's a quite significant change and if you want a stronger effect you can so well that's uh, the effect that I wanted to show you I hope uh, you liked uh, this tutorial this is Andre from PSD Box thank you for watching and see you next time